So today I'll be talking uh, very fast so you can all get home. Uh, we will be talking about food waste management and how we can tackle the food waste in a way that we are mimicking the nature. In 2050, the world population will reach 10 billion people. Please raise your hand if you already heard about this information. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, excellent. But what are the consequences of that? What are the consequences of having 10 billion people population? Actually, this is raising essential question about how we will be able to provide food for such a population. In the last decades, we have a surge on protein demand and it is projected to grow by 52% between 2019 and 2050. This is putting a tremendous pressure in our ecosystem through land clearing, water resources, and CO2 production. Paradoxically, one third of the food that we are producing is just wasted. In addition, we are having a very inefficient waste management system that is leading to dropping more than 70% of those waste into landfills. So how we could make a better job in managing our food waste and providing protein for the growing population? Actually, nature is a good place to be for reflection, inspiration, or founding solution to the question, for example, how nature is managing waste. Well, there's no waste in nature. Since nature is functioning in cycles, every element is important to the element besides. And insects are playing a central role in recycling system of the nature. So insects, they consume waste, which is mainly biological elements like dead animals, foreign leaves, and by their turn, they become a natural feed for um, birds, reptile, fish, and this way everything goes back to the life cycle. So this is working quite well. In the, if you go to a wild of the forest, there, there's no waste. The, the nature knows how to do that. And the question is, can we harness the power of insect to treat our own waste? Yes, we can. The secret is to provide an environment that is making this insect comfortable and providing it with temperature, humidity, and luminosity that would provide him with growth and uh, reproducibility. So in the rest of the presentation, I will show you how in Circa Biotech we developed such uh, an engineering biosystem. But first, please allow me to introduce you to Hermitia illusens, commonly known as the black soldier fly, or BSF. Like all the anim insects, so the BSF has a life cycle that starts with eggs. The eggs hatch in four days and give larvae. Larvae are, have a unique role, unique objective for their life is eating. They just eat. They are voracious eaters and they grow fast. They grow 14 days the way that to be a pupa. So please keep in mind this 14 days, I will talk about it later. Just to know that after 14 days, they are uh, highly nutritious. Their profile is very high in protein and in lipids. And they are uh, providing the animals that eat them with an enhanced immune system because they produce natural antibiotics. Those are peptides that are naturally produced by them. After they stop eating and they go into pupation, so the pupation happens in darkness, where they will be transforming and magically metamorphosing into an adult fly. So this takes 14 days. And the important part of the adult is it's non-invasive species. Actually, it doesn't even have a mouth. So it doesn't sting, it doesn't bite. It doesn't carry any disease. 
And it's a non-pest, so it doesn't pose any harm to human or to crop or to the environment. And it's low maintenance because, as I said, it doesn't eat, it just uh, drink water. So how we do their cultivation in, in our uh, facility? So here we are under a strict control of temperature, humidity, and luminosity. So we, um, we raise the adult flies under, under those cages, like, like we see here. And uh, those adult flies, so as I said, they don't have a mouth. So they only drink and mate. This is what they do for the entire adult life. Nice life, right? <laughs> like good things don't last for long, they only live 10 to 14 days. But before dying, uh, females give between 500 to 1,000 eggs per individual. So what we do is we collect eggs from here and we put them here into those crates with the food, the waste food that we are getting. Actually, larvae are the most important phase of our project because larvae, they are voracious eaters. They eat everything, like fruit, vegetables, meat, bones, you name it, everything. If I put a human being, only the hair would remain. They eat everything. Ah, sorry. One thing they don't like, pineapple peels. Don't ask me why. They don't like pineapple peels. We don't have that much pineapple, but like pineapple peels. OK. So we raise them in those crates. And as you can see, this is vertical farming. So we are having in small area, in, well, we have 120 uh, square meter, what we can uh, put all of the roof of those crates. So, and this is how it works, actually. You can see them here crawling. So those grubs, they start as thin as uh, 0.1 millimeters and they finish this size. So in 14 days, they grow 500 times. I know 500 times is not something that we can imagine easily, but to give you an example, for a human baby growing as big as seven elephants in 14 days. This is how big they grow. Actually, they eat every day their double, the double of their body mass. So once, once we get those uh, grabs at the, the level that we want, we sieve them to get frost. So this is a fertilizer. Then we oven dry them. And then we screw press so we get larva oil and protein meal. Okay? So our solution is a, a circular economy solution, absolutely. So it's upcycling organic waste back into the food value chain. At our full industrial size, we can treat 200 tons a day of food waste. And to that, we can produce 22,000 tons of animal feed per year. So the team, uh, we are a team of uh, three PhDs, three MBAs, two engineers, and with some um, interdisciplinary um, backgrounds, like educational background, from biology to pharmacy to uh, engineering, uh, agriculture engineering, of course. So this is our background. And then this is the business model I will go through. That It's not important, but what is important, this, what I wanted to talk about here is Today we are at this scale. So today we are able to treat 100 kg of waste per day. And very soon, so this is in Q2 uh, this, this year, we will be able in our pilot unit to treat 15 tons a day to go to 50 tons and to 200 tons at our full uh, scalable scale. So. Today, we are uh, in Masdar City, so we are licensed in Masdar City. It's more than, than being just licensed in Masdar City. Actually, the, we are the first company, sorry, we are the first company to have the insect farming license. Actually, we created it. It doesn't exist before us. We created a license in Masdar for insect farming. 
And now we are working to create this license in mainland because for the moment we can operate only in the free zone because the license is there. Um, then we are also licensed for three other activities which are uh, organic fertilizer producer and uh, organic waste collection and recycling. Um, yes, so more than just creating a company, our objective is to create an industrial sector, a full industrial sector of alternative protein based on the recycling of food waste. And this requires a lot of work and it requires a lot of effort. We already working with the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, with ADAFSA, uh, with the BIA, with TADWIR, and we are getting there. So I know the, the road went long and we will be struggling a little bit, but we are arriving there. So lastly, these are the impact that I wanted to show with you with insect farming. What is the impact of insect farming um, to produce protein for animal feed against others? So we will be uh, using 95 times less land, 26 times less water, less feed, less CO2 emissions, and more uh, gold. This we will be also aligned with uh, the sustainability development goals. So with that, uh, we'll let you um, in peace. <laughs> I think I'm the, the last presentation, so you are all free. And you are also free to um, ask questions. Uh, this is the QR code of our uh, website and also uh, yeah, my email address. You can send me my partner Ludmila is somewhere here, maybe, okay. So, yes, feel free. <laughs>